around 12.45 p.m., my mom picked me up. from my dad's place to take me to the small rural town where her mother lives to pick her up. So the three of us could then go to a bigger rural town. The main town part of that rural town so we could all go to Lugia an Italian restaurant within the same town where we got at Texas Hots three I mean eight Texas Hots and two jars of sauce. We went to Texas Hots right after we ate at Lugia. during which I had most of an order of New Orleans shrimp I got as a starter to share between the three of us. I offered some of the sh fried shrimp To both my mom and her mom, though, I just recall my mom having one of the fried shrimp. And my mom's mom didn't want any of it, so I had the rest. Then for my main course, I had...
in order of the New Orleans pasta. which was essentially penne in a kind of vodka sauce, if I recall correctly. Peppers, sausage, and chicken the whole time over the course of roughly 45 minutes during the 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. period Somewhere within that time, I sipped at an alcoholic beverage. My one alcoholic beverage. for today a cocktail special that consisted of rum with pineapple juice and sour mix And pretty much at the same time, I sipped at a glass of iced water. That I requested shortly after the cocktail I ordered came out. I recall after we got back at my mom's mom's place around five forty five PM We spent from then until around 8.15 p.m. First having my mom's mom open some presents which consisted of some new clothes she really enjoyed and open a couple of cards from us.
I side my card. For grandma. Well, at her house. And she liked all of the kind words and simple illustrations. I put in that card. And she also liked my mom's card. Which she read before mine. My mom got both cards from her local Wegmans. We then had some slices of a medium-sized strawberry shortcake my mom also got from her local Wegmans. My mom made conversation with her mom. And then we helped my mom's mom, the two of us, with her tablet, cell phone, and Wi-Fi. At one point going into the basement of my mom's mom's place. I recall having two large slices of the strawberry shortcake and so did my mom and her mom. In total, we ate roughly half of the whole cake before giving pretty much the rest for my mom's mom and one of her other children. As of now, I have a large slice one more saved for me for later. My mom also got me a 16 ounce bottle of Upstate Farms branded whole milk to go with the strawberry shortcake slices I had. And what I'm having currently with the Texas Hots I'm having currently, these are snapped double cheese Cheez-Its. And my mom's mom gave me them. from the snacks out in the open in the kitchen area giving me a sandwich bag plastic bag with which I could put in 
as many of the snapped double cheese Cheez-Its as I desired. For which I am thankful. Around 8 in the morning, I had a chocolate coconut cronut my dad got from the Salty Bread Pizza Cafe the other day. I had that with a cup of plain coffee. And I say that because I recall having my first cup of plain coffee for today around 2.45 in the morning. By the time I had the cronut, I was on at least my fourth cup. I recall between 2.45 in the morning and around 12.45 p.m. when my mom picked me up from my dad's place, having somewhere between five and seven cups of plain coffee. And that didn't really affect me much as I had it over a long period of time. I only recall having one or two cups of coffee before roughly from four in the morning to eight in the morning, I laid in bed in my room at my dad's place, at one point falling asleep and sleeping for at least two hours. I recall in the hours before my mom picked me up from my dad's place today during that 2.45 in the morning, 12.45 p.m. period. I edited the June 4, my dinner video in Camtasia 2019. And I finished editing the June 4, my dinner video. Though by that point, it was around noon and I realized I wouldn't have time to render that video project file before my mom came over to pick me up from my dad's place. So I put my laptop into sleep mode, made the screen turn off by partially closing it and then waiting for the screen to turn off. Packed it into my laptop case along with my computer mouse the charger for my laptop and my wired headphones and got ready to be picked up by my mom from my dad's place. Virtually all of the editing for the June 4 my dinner video I did after I got up around 8 in the morning. The reviewing of the audio and video of that video project and the editing. At Lugia's for dessert, I got an order of chocolate marble cheesecake and I offered some of it to my mom and her mom 
at two different points, but they both declined. So I had the whole slice of chocolate marble cheesecake that I ordered for dessert. I was the only one who ordered dessert, a starter, or an alcoholic beverage. I recall falling asleep during the car drive to my mom's mom's place. The same didn't occur during the drive first to my dad's place to get some stuff I need for my shift at Wegmans tomorrow, such as my cut-proof gloves, my current pair of cut-proof gloves, my cutter, and my current name tag. as well as my current pair of dress pants with a belt and two of my Wegmans polos, one black and one yellow. My dad was up at the time, so I briefly said hello to him and hugged him. in the living room after getting what I needed from my room and then I got back in my mom's car and we headed for her place. Me and my mom got to her place during the early night hours and shortly after getting there during efforts cleaning up the dining room table, I had a bag of baked cheese puffs, Wegmans generic branded, a small bag of those. I recall the car drive from my mom's mom's place to Ultimately, my mom's place being pretty relaxing. I enjoyed reclining the front passenger seat somewhat. I enjoyed the car's AC. I enjoyed watching the sunset and making some conversation with my mom. It was a pretty good experience. Near the very start of us be being at my mom's mom's place, my mom misplaced the cards for grandma so I went out to help my mom look for those two cards and they happened to be under the two back passenger seats in that space kind of between the two back passenger seats. I reached one of my arms into that area. It was kind of the first place I thought of looking after looking in our reusable Wegmans bags and the passenger seats themselves. And those two cards and their envelopes. The cards in their envelopes happen to 
be there. Which kind of amazed my mom since she felt that it was kind of incredible that she happened to throw the envelopes with the cards into that space. It's still a considerable space, but it isn't easy to happen to throw the envelopes with the cards into that space. Uh, that's between the bottom parts of the two back passenger seats. <laughs> 